Hey, it's Will Taylor of Strings Attached and the Karen and Will duo, stringsattachedcares.org. I'm raising money for the things that we do out in the community with schools, with memory care centers, with folks that need music but can't get it. And I have a nonprofit called stringsattachedcares.org. We'll be doing a big show with an amazing, famous artist in May at Central Market with, it's called Strings in the Park. It'll be raising awareness for bio-integrity and also for Strings Attached Cares. That's in May with Shiny Ribs right here in Austin, Texas. So have you tried rejection therapy today or do you have a rejection practice? What this is is I came across, hey Ronnie Cox, Ronnie! Okay, rejection therapy, rejection practice. In addition to the gratitude practice that I'm trying, that I am executing every morning and evening before I go to bed, thinking of one person in my history that has influenced me or helped me on my journey and thinking about them, whether they're still here or gone from this earth, I, I journal, I write a little bit about them. I also think about one thing I'm grateful in my life for. I also think about a third thing, simple things such as sunlight on my skin or the, the blanket over my body that's covering me. And I'm grateful for those things. So I think of three, three, three things. So in addition to this gratitude practice, uh, one of the things that I haven't really started it yet, but rejection practice is, is sort of a resiliency training where you take upon yourself with intention to start a conversation with somebody that you know. Put yourself in positions of being rejected so that, you know, some of us may need help and more than others in this area. Maybe you can, you don't have, a, you don't have anything to work on in this, you know, but the idea that some of it, that we, we may get triggered in some ways and that triggering is, it's our responsibility to heal that. So if you're shy or you have triggers that go off, how could you train yourself to observe the trigger or observe the discomfort and push through the discomfort? How could you train yourself and gradually move through situations that are difficult? Well, rejection training is one way and you can gradually increase the level of difficulty. It could be just standing in line and starting a conversation with somebody. Maybe you're shy, maybe that's difficult. Go for it. Uh, it could be asking for a discount or a special deal. Put yourself in positions where you might be rejected and learn to observe your emotions with that. I, I'm not saying I'm good at this. I'm saying this is something I want to try doing. And maybe you'll get more comfortable with it. And maybe that'll add some resiliency to your character that could be useful and to being present with others. Um, there's a lot of situations where there are things that irritate me. And I know that that's my internal programming my subconscious has been programmed to be irritated or to be to have discomfort with the situation or to have you know some hard feelings around situations with people like one of them is screaming children you know it is I, I it's extremely difficult for me to be around upset screaming children maybe a little bit is okay but when it goes on and on that activates my stress response I put earplugs in that helps a little bit um, then there are things that trigger me. So anyway, this is something I'm trying. It's called rejection therapy. And the idea is to welcome uncomfortable situations, to welcome situations that may be out of your comfort zone as a way for growth. Because it's not about the goal, it's about what we learn on the way to the goal. And I've really been holding tight to that feeling and that, that concept as well. You know, when you get to your middle age and you look back and your little voices go off saying, wow, what have I done in my life? <laughs> that person over there, they seem so much more successful than I am, and they're making so much of a difference in the world. It's easy to get caught up in those voices. But then when you think of like, well, I, haven't, I wasn't successful in a lot of the ways that I set out to be as a young artist, as a young human being in the world, but what did I learn along the way? What did I learn along the way? What are the things that helped me grow. So when I think of that, then I, I feel better as a, an individual, as a human on the earth. And I feel that's a better way of looking at things rather than using my time here, my precious time that I have left on the earth 
using my precious time to think about how things could have gone, right? We don't want to wallow in that too long. We don't want to spend too much time in that space of, oh, I wish this and I wish that. I wish this could be different. I wish that could be different. When we have a gratitude practice, when we have a rejection practice, reaching out to people, looking at what's great in our life, I find that it multiplies. If you can find three things you're grateful for, you're most likely gonna find another three and another three and another three, and pretty soon you'll have a list of a thousand and you'll wake up every day. That's my hope. You'll wake up most days just being grateful. So, I'm writing these things down, I'm reading them in the morning and the evening, and it's amazing to me how many things come up and how many people I'm grateful for, people that have been in my life. And it's fun to look back on that. When I look back, instead of thinking, how could have, if I'd done this and that, my life would have been better, I, I think back of the wonderful times that I've had with those folks that have shared my life. People like Ronnie Cox, who I was on tour with several times in Arizona and East Texas, and got to hear really cool stories from Ronnie sitting in Cracker Barrels, driving in the car, working on harmonies together, being in that present moment, which music really brings you together, being present for the now, which is all that really matters. But when I think back, working with musicians like Glenn Rexash, touring and with Glenn Rexash, Steve Zirkel, and Chris Serrells on tour in New York City, staying in this beautiful cabin out in the woods before there was any internet, before there was barely even any, any fax machines, and the good times that we had playing that music together and bringing it to other people, it really makes me feel good. It really makes me feel grateful for all of the experiences, for lots of the experiences. And sometimes those experiences, those negative experiences that we label as negative might be what we need, right? They might be, you know, the universe is throwing us something and we don't like it. Just like a child doesn't want to eat vegetables, right? But we know that it's, that if, if we're an adult, that it's good for that child, but the child doesn't know that. Well, we may still be ch a child in reference to the universe. The universe is throwing us these difficult situations in order for us to grow and to learn something. And they may be just what we need to make a change or to or realize something and realize who and what we're grateful for. Especially with who, who we're grateful for. Right, Barbara? All right, I'm almost home now. I'm gonna grab a couple of paintings that I'm getting scanned to make into prints to sell on our store. I hope you guys that are, if you're watching this and if, if it's impacted you or helped you in some way, please let me know and add to the commentary, you know? Look, give me a give me little comments there in the bottom. And check out our music at stringsattachedmusic.net or karenandwillmusic.com. We'd love to have you in our community. We'd love to have you a part of our discourse on ways that we can help each other. And please make a donation if you just tuned in. You can watch the video from the beginning, but I'm also always with my live videos raising money for Strings Attached Cares, where we bring music to people that can't get out to it. Kids, the elderly. Check it out at stringsattachedcares.org or make a donation right there. Thanks for watching.